and safely back to school after two weeks of remote learning. That's the plan at FAMU DRS. They're coming back after two employees tested positive for COVID-19 earlier in the semester. Tonight, the school tells ABC 27's Christian Thomas why they are working to get kids back to class. We knew we had to come back because we needed to serve our students. Plexiglass barriers, one-way hallways, and six-foot social distance markers are the new normal for FAMU DRS students. Our staff had done a really good job being prepared, so the transition was actually pretty seamless. The school now back in the physical classroom with 632 total students, around 40% of them opting for in-person learning. Testlet, it shows that you completed the growth language 2 through 12. With the return, staff are still doubling down on safety measures. Masks must be worn at all times. Lockers and playgrounds have been decommissioned, and the 150-person cafeteria has been reduced to 30 to 35 students to accommodate social distancing. It can be challenging sometimes with younger students, but at the end of the day, it's still a part of our teaching and learning process. Elementary school principal Star Swain says although school is anything but normal this year, the community has been supportive throughout this difficult time. The environment it actually has been very positive um, coming back to the campus. To mitigate the spread, middle and high school students rotate days inside the building and transitions between classes are minimal. And although some things will take some getting used to, administrators are confident that they are taking the necessary steps for their students. The school is still a great place for learning. Um, the students are super excited and the parents, of course, are excited as well to be able to have their students back on campus and back in the learning environment. That was Christian Thomas reporting. Administrators say most of quarantine staff members have returned back to the classroom.